All right, 6.9 B, modeling a polynomial using your calculator this time. Okay, so what we're gonna be given is you're gonna be given this set of data, okay? Um, so we got X, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then F of X or your Y, uh, 0, 8, 12, 12, 8, 0. So anytime we're modeling these polynomial functions, it's just like we have in the past. We've done it with linear, we've done it with quadratic. Now we might be moving into cubic and quartic type functions. But anytime we do this, we always go to our calculator. Okay, and again, we're dealing with some statistics. So stat, and you need to edit to enter that data in. Again, if you have data in those lists, make sure to clear those by going to L1, hit clear, and then hit down. Clear list two, highlight it, clear, hit down. Now, let's go ahead, let's enter our X values into list one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, our list two, they're gonna do our Y's or F of X in this case, zero, eight, 12, 12, eight, zero. Again, make sure to double check that you have the values entered in properly, when we are good in this case. Now, the first thing we always do, we always do our scatter plot. And again, for a scatter plot, it's just quadrant one, okay? You're going to have your labels, which in this case, our x-axis is x, our y-axis is f of x, and then we're gonna need our scatter plot, okay? So we have our data entered in, we need to make sure our stat plot is on, so second y equals, our stat plot is off right now, so hit enter and highlight on and make sure it is on. So we're good there. Now, now that our stat plot is on, go ahead and we hit graph. Oh, I got a function in there already from earlier. I hit graph, we see that there, but we want to get zoomed in onto our statistics. So again, hit zoom stat, which on the iPad is zoom five, okay? Then from there, you just write what you see, okay? So the scatter plot we got here, Now, what the difference is now, is now you're gonna to have to determine what type of regression to run, okay? Now, when I look at that, okay, imagine like you drew a line through it, it looks like it's going to be a parabola, okay? So, in this case, we're going to run a quadratic regression. Before we do that, let's go ahead, let's do our x min and max, y min and max for our scatter plot. And in order to get that, we hit window, and let's go to the tenths place. So in this case, 0 0.7 for our x min, 6.3 for our x max, y min, negative 0 0.8, and then y max is 12.8, okay? And again, if you have a TI-84 actually with you, that's going to be a little bit different, but that is what we need for our scatter plot. Now, to run this regression, we said it looks like a parabola, so we need to run a quad regression, or quadratic regression. In order to do that, we hit stat, we move over to calculate, and we're going to run a quadratic regression. List one was our x's, list two was our y's, and then you go hit calculate. Okay, so and then just replacing a with a, b with b, c with c, we get y is equal to negative two, x squared, plus 14x, minus 12, and we get that coefficient of determination, which is one, okay? And again, the closer that is to one, the stronger the fit. So in this case, it was one. This is the exact equation that would go through those points. All right, now if I was to ask, predict what would x when x is seven, then you take seven and plug it into your quadratic regression equation there. All right, so for the next one, okay, just another polyno or just another, list of statistics so we go into stat edit we got one through six again now we got to change it up for our list two we got six 15 22 21 6 and negative 29 okay we have our stat plot on already okay so we can go ahead and hit graph now we're zoomed in onto that last problem so again we have to hit zoom stat or zoom five in this case so we're gonna see our scatter plot, and again, our labels in this case, x, f of x, 
Okay, and it looks like well, we're going to have to go into quadrant four in this case, but ooh, just writing out that quadratic now. Ooh. Okay, so and then we'll have to have that point down here as well. Okay, so in this case, it, again, it looks like a quadratic. So let's get ahead, let's go ahead, let's get our window, negative 0 0.6, I'm sorry, negative 0 0.7, or just 0 0.7, sorry. We got 6.3, Y min, we get a negative 32.4, and then 25.4. Okay, I put that negative 32.4 down below just because of the fact that we had that point below the x-axis. Don't worry about that for a test or a quiz or anything, but in this case, that's what we'll have to do. Okay, so again, stat, and we're going to calculate the regression now. It looked like a quadratic. So then quad regression. Calculator is being funky today. There we go. So we got y is equal to negative 5.5x squared plus 32.7x minus 24.2 with a coefficient of determination of 0 0.9637. And again, you will always go to four decimal places with those values, even with your regression as well. Again, we ran a quad regression, and the fact that we got a 0.9637, that is telling us it's a strong fit, so that was probably the proper regression to run. All right, let's see if we can... I don't like that. Let's get that whole half screen there. Okay, so for the next one then, the table shows the average price in thousands of dollars of a house in northeastern United States for... 1987 to 1995, find a polynomial model for the data, then predict the average price of a house in Northeast in 2000. Okay, now in this case, it does not say anything about X, let X be the number of years since. So if it was that, if that was the case, make sure you are writing the proper values for your X. But for this case, it does not say that. So we're just going to type in 1987, 1988, 1989, 1990. Okay, and let's just double check. 95, 94, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we're good on that one. And then going ahead, plug it into list 2. 140. 149. 159.2. Six. And just double checking again, 180, 169, 162.9, 169, 155.9, 159, 159.6, 149, 140. Okay, so we're good there. Okay, we have our stat plot on again, hit graph. We're not zoomed into the proper area. So again, zoom stat, and then there is our scatter plot. So I'm just putting in the points that we see. Now, there's a couple routes we can go here. Okay, that looks... If we were to draw something that goes through those points, somewhat of a line, but it also could be we have turning points within there, okay? So then we need to double check for multiple types of equations. Now, before we do that, x, which was representing the year, that f of x, which was representing average price, In thousands. Okay. 
and then let's get our window. We got 1986.5, X max 1995.5, Y min at 137.3, and our Y max of 182.7 when rounding to the tenths place. Okay, so our scatter plot is good. Now, this is where I'm gonna run a couple different regressions because it could possibly be a linear regression. So I'm gonna hit calc, linear regression, AX plus B there. Okay, so if we were to run a linear regression, our regression equation would be Y is equal to negative 7,690, four decimal places, 0.6878x. Oh, that was my B value, sorry. So we got 3.9433x minus at 7,690.6878. Okay, and with linear regressions, we use the correlation coefficient. So that's the R, which is 0 0.91. 780, sorry. Now, let's see if we can get a better fit. That is a strong fit, but there's a possibility that there's a better fit for this. Okay, we have end behavior going in the opposite direction, so therefore it has to be odd. So let's double check that the cubic regression, cubic being degree three, to see if that works better. that linear regression does work pretty well, but we need to double check to make sure that there's not a better fit. Okay, so my calculator is not working properly right now. But if we were to run that regression, we run a cubic regression now, what we would get, give me one second and I'll pull it up. Running that cubic regression, you would get, let's see here. You get y is equal to 0 0.2417 x cubed. Minus squared plus Okay. Now, the thing that I'm looking at, though, is the fact that my coefficient of determination, or that R squared value, would have been 0 0.9204. Okay. So, for the since the fact that that had a better, or it was closer to 1, it had a better fit than the linear regression, therefore, I need to use the cubic regression in this case. Okay. So, from there, then, if we're going to predict... Since the year 2000, you're going to plug in 2000 into that function, into each x, and I'm not going to type that in, but if you were to do that, you're going to get 26,267,159. Okay, so nothing's really changed, it's just now we're going beyond that linear and quadratic regression, and you could possibly have those cubic or even quartic regressions, okay? So in order to determine what type of regression you need to run, you are looking at your scatter plot. That's gonna be a good indicator. Now, if you're between two different types of regressions, remember, run both types and look for the coefficient of determination and determine which one works better. The one that is closer to one is the one you need to write. So uh, that is modeling polynomial functions using your calculator.
Okay, make sure you get the best fitted regression for your homework, 6.9B homework, running those regressions with the data sets that are given. Okay, again, make sure you are checking the textbook, okay, under 6.9 practice to make sure that you are running the proper regression for that data set. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a good day.